Welcome to Sega News Bits. Has Sega of America finally found a home at Atlas USA's offices? That may be the case. Um, on the Sega Bits forums, what was complaining about Sonic Boom slowly turned into us asking, where is Sega of America? You know, it's been uh, several months since they made the transition, since they've moved from San Francisco, uh, their offices, which I actually visited and I have a three-part write-up on the site, which you can check out. Um, but anyway, enough plugging the site. Uh, yeah, so they, they moved and they never were really telling us where they moved to. We did interview Aaron Weber. He didn't tell us. Um, did you find that odd that he wouldn't be able to tell us where they were like at that moment? Yeah, it, it was kind of odd. I mean, why wouldn't you be able to tell people where you're moving to? Like, there's no reason not to unless like there's something I guess people could perceive as a negative about it. Yeah, and so that's why, you know, it got me thinking. Um, I mean, in the past, Sega was very open with saying, you know, we are at, and they give their address, you know, we'd receive things from them and had their address on it. Their address is on the site. Um, but after the move, their San Francisco address remained, and then it kind of disappeared. And then it seems like the, the office disappeared itself. But anyway, to get to the point, it looks like they actually did find a home, and Sega of America Incorporated is currently headquartered and this is on their website, so I'm not like spoiling like, oh, secrets, at uh, 6400 Oak Canyon in Irvine, California. And that's Suite 100. Now, when you go to their site, you're gonna see that they're actually listing this address at San Francisco, California. And then they said California twice, which makes absolutely no sense, unless California is like a state within a state. But anyway, clearly someone needs to fix the website. But um, clearly, this, clearly they're, proud of, they're proud about, you know, being located in California. Yeah. Um, and uh, this address is the exact same address as Atlas. And when you go to the Sega.com corporate site for the American site, they don't list Atlas. However, when you go to the um, group companies list on Sega Sam Sammy Holdings, they did a lot better job listing everything. They're overseas places. Sega of America, again, is listed at 6400 Oak Canyon Suite 100, Irvine, California, and it's listed as being their sales and distribution of consumer. Of course, that's, uh, you know, a little English. I, I don't know if they've properly written, you know, what, what they're doing over there. The second address is 612 Howard Street, San Francisco, California, and that's for Sega Networks Incorporated. Now, on our forums, uh, one of our members named uh, Tripled mentioned that the uh, the mobile division of Sega West is now under one roof with three rings design, which makes sense. Um, and then Sega also has a uh, another address, which is listed on their American site, and that is at 250 East Olive Avenue. And again, the, the American site, and that's in Burbank, California. The American site, again, it's really non-specific like it just says it's sega u.s headquarters it turns out this olive avenue address is actually marza animation studios and again going back to our forums it's also been stated that the marza office has now become a sonic brand slash marza office and um you know sega has been pushing for a sonic movie which has since been you know confirmed it's going to be happening marza is handling the animation for that so it makes sense to have a sonic brand office in Burbank so that they're close to the movie production studios and the animation studios. It's unknown if this is where Aaron Weber is working. And I don't want to get to, you know, like TMZ right now. So I'm going to stop talking about that bit. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, again, you know, there's been other signs. Uh, we receive um, uh, press releases from Sega. And for the last, I mean, I don't, I don't know how many more, like two months or so, they've been from Atlas, which has been kind of strange. Like, hey, new Sega game coming out and from Atlas. Uh, but there's one email we got for Flight Fighting Cli Climax. And at the bottom, instead of saying Atlas, the 6400 Oak Canyon address, it said Sega. And I was like, oh. And then the next email came and said Atlas again. So I guess they're like, they're not keeping it a secret because it's listed on their site. But they're very much not being like outright like, hey guys, we moved into Atlas's headquarters. We're in the same suite, the same uh, first floor as them. Anyway, I've been talking too much. What do you think about this, George? Oh, I don't know. I mean, to me, it seems like, I don't know. I think uh, that they're making Atlas USA work on doing the PR for uh, Sega games that are not Sonic. 
And then the only Sega of America has literally turned into Sonic, a team for Sonic. So, I mean, and Aaron kind of did say something about how there's going to be a lot more. I mean, even not even him. It was also in the press release, you know, when they did the restructuring. Yeah. They said that it was going to be more focus on Sonic. So it just seems to me like people just, I mean, Sega Japan just wants Sega of America to do what they're best at, promoting Sonic games and let other teams do the rest. You know, the guys at Atlas, you would say do the rest of the Sega games. Yeah. I don't know if I'm positive about that because only because I don't like, I don't like the fact that these like Atlas released a lot of titles and these people that work at Atlas USA are going to have to do those titles and the Sega ones. I don't know. I mean, it just seems like a lot of work and I don't know if all the games are going to get the attention they deserve. Right. But um, I mean, look at Tembo the the badass elephant. They didn't even tweet about that game. Wait, what game? American... Huh? What game? Tembo, t- I've never Tembo, heard of this. No, I've never, never heard of that. Did they advertise never it? Never heard of it? <laughs> Sega didn't, okay, Sega didn't even tweet about it on their 1.3 million uh, followers on Twitter about it. Oh. It's a little weird, don't you think? Yeah, man, I love Sega, but sometimes I feel like I'm doing more work than they are promoting their games. Yeah, and that's not good. <laughs> I mean, there's. I'm hoping that this is just... You know, they fired everybody from Sega of America, technically. I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah. And uh, they're they're trying to rebuild. I hope this is what it is. They're going to try to rebuild slowly and find the right people. But, I mean, I, you never know in the future. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, yeah, and I, I do know, and again, not naming names, but I do know that some Atlas employees who had helped us in the past with the uh, PR, getting the information out, getting review copies, they've since changed their emails to Sega. So I... There might even be some internal, like, you know, you used to work for Atlas, now you work for Sega, you know, shifting people around. Um, But uh, yeah, these offices, I I don't want to get too into it, but I did even go to the website for like the the company that rents them their offices. So I was looking at little maps. It's like, it's in this little office park. Um, It seems like they occupy the entire first floor. Uh, The second floor is actually the headquarters for a like senior living and home care company. So um, that's what's going on above Sega uh, is hospice care and memory care and all that. There's not like that old sounds people. sounds very exciting. There's not old people living there. I think it's just the offices, but still that, that kind of made me laugh. But, um, you know, one, I guess one last thing, you'll notice that if you do, if you, if you are like me and you go on Google and start doing the street view, like a stalker, you'll notice that there are no Atlas signs, you know, so I, I'm, doubting that we're going to see a big Sega sign. They might just, they might be there, but they might be very discreet. Um, That's my take on it anyway. So uh, yeah, Sega of America seems to have moved in with Atlas. Um, They also, they they have posted pictures of inside this mystery office that we now presume is at 6400 Oak Canyon. So there is Sega branding. They have, um, George, I believe you said you saw a Fantasy Star conference room. Yeah, there was a. I'm not gonna say who posted it because I don't want to, keep, you know, put this uh, community manager's name out there. Um, but they posted a picture when I was looking at who was doing the community management for Sega because I mean, I don't want to put them on blast, but they're not doing that great of a job. And um, they posted a picture of like their office. It was Fantasy Star themed. It was kind of weird considering their stance against Fantasy Star Online too. But yeah. it's cool that they have an office though. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's that's the news. That's um. Sega, and it's an odd couple, I guess, or maybe like, I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I've uncovered. If you'd like more Sega news, check us out at segabits.com. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and follow us on all our social networks.